My name is Astro, like from the Jetsons, and uh, I've already started doing uh, this job here, but I thought I'd, you know, catalog part of it at least so you guys can see what I'm doing. I didn't see anything on the web about it. Um, maybe not the best way to jack up the car, but uh, well, first of all, I'll start, I'll start off at the beginning here. I'm installing C6 Z51 sway bars in my 2001 C5. These are the stock ones here. I'm also putting metal end links uh, to replace these, uh, you know, <laughs> weight reduction crappy plastic ones. Gosh, man, they're ridiculous. Uh, anyway, so I jacked up the car, used uh, my little uh, invention here, the two by two by six and a, a shelf with a screw. Got that in there. All right, and. Um, Dude, it's it's incredibly easy to take this apart. Um, all it is is okay. So this is the hole that the end link stud is sticking through, and that is a T40. Um, I spent 15 minutes looking for an Allen because I didn't look straight into the hole. Uh, it was really really stupid. Uh, make sure you look. <laughs> make sure you look in there and see what it is. Gosh, I thought it was an Allen key. Okay, so anyway, that's a T40. Uh, so what you do is you stick the T40 in there with uh, either a gun, if you have one that fits, or um, you know just a socket wrench, and then hold this nut. Let's see, where's the nut? Nut that sit, sits right there. That's an 11 16 and uh, just screw it out. Then you got two 13 millimeters holding in the bushings. And that's it. <laughs> three, three nuts on either side, or three bolts, or well, one nut and two bolts. And that takes out the entire front sway bar. And it's, gosh, it's so easy. It's incredible. I, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I've never had to do a sway bar, but I've heard a lot of, you know, horror stories, <laughs> how difficult they are to manage. Uh, anyway, this is the plate that holds it in. I'm gonna have to. Um, pause this video and continue with the backside uh, when I get there. Now, the sway bar back here, I don't know if it's like that, if it's going to be that way for years, but the electrical junction connector here was going around the sway bar and it was plug plugged into the fan here. So be careful when you, you know, uh, dismount, you want to make sure that it doesn't pull on that connector and, and, uh, you know, break anything. So make sure you, you disconnect the connector first, take a little flathead, stick it in there, pull the, you know, pull the release up and just, you know, gently tug on the wire harness and, and pull it back out. Um, make sure it's not wrapped around the sway bar. So this thing is pretty loose in here. Once you start taking the bolts out, it will fall out. So just be careful, you know, uh, don't be directly under it or else uh, might get a good, good, good whack on the head there. Um, actually, before I show the rear, I'm going to go ahead and show what I got here. This is the new sway bar in the front. Definitely a huge difference. I got, um, the new bushings here. Now, uh, by the way, I got all this stuff from Coltrag, uh, Gene Cully at Coltrag Performance. Thanks, Gene. Just want to give a shout out to you. Really good price. Uh, I paid uh, three ninety four fifty one for uh, all four metal end links and the two sway bars. Now this is from a, C a Z fifty one C six. Definitely a huge difference. I can't wait to try this out. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and install the front and come back. Hey everybody, okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, or how I torque torque these down the end links uh, off the off the car. Obviously, got a got the sway bar and a bench vise. Sorry about the mess. Um, set the torque wrench to 53 foot-pounds and get your crow's foot ready. Make sure that your crow's foot is 90 degrees to the pivot point. Uh, do not have it set like this. If you have it set like that, you're not going to get the correct torque because you're extending the lever arm. So make sure that it's 90 degrees. Um, I'm sure a lot of these people, a lot of you guys already know how to use a torque wrench, but just in case. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do is grab this guy, I'm going to 
one of those husky extending ratchets. It's pretty cool. Make sure it's set on loose, you know, on loosening it. And then set your torque wrench on 53 to tight to tighten. And oh, I'm sorry. I had it on tight. Okay. So there you go. Go ahead and tighten her down. Check it. And you're done. You stop it. Uh, hey guys, I'm back. I'm actually, I've already kind of started with the rear sway bar here. Uh, uninstalling it anyway. Uh, I actually wanted to throw something in here that I forgot to do earlier. Uh, just some torque specs. Here we got this bottom nut here. It's actually part of the A-arm here. This is, the, the torque value for this is 70 foot-pounds. The torque value for this top one is 49. 70, 49. I'm getting these from uh, my 2001 Corvette service manual. I uh, highly recommend you have one if you have a Corvette. Uh, it gives you everything you need to know about anything you want to work on. They're, they're only like 20 bucks in PDF form. So you got these nuts here. Earlier I said they were 11 sixteenths, but I was wrong. They're actually 18 millimeter. Uh, just, you know, pretend I didn't say that earlier. I'll try to put an annotation in. These are 53 foot pounds. The um, bolts that hold in the bushings in the front, the 13 millimeter bolts are 43 foot pounds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this and install the new one and show you the finished uh, product. All right, guys, bye. Hey guys, so I didn't show a picture of the final product, but it looks just like the old one did, but thicker. Uh, it was a pain in the ass to install the rear one. Uh, couldn't torque the end link to the A-arm. I had a hard time with that. I had to just crank it down. I had to remove the exhaust also to get to the bolts that hold the bushing uh, in on either side. So other than that, uh, installation was pretty quick. Uh, handle well. The car is uh, handling a hell of a lot better. It's incredible. Uh, I would definitely recommend these. Uh, thanks again, Gene, for you know uh, putting these out there on the forum and for the wonderful price. And I'm pretty happy with the uh, T6Z51 sway bars. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's it's really rough. It's my it's my first, and I'm kind of doing it on my phone, except for this last clip. Anyway, have a good night.